All right, so this is a standard view of a, this is what the public sees when they log on to LinkedIn and they search for me under my name. This is what comes up. So within the profile, there's several different sections that we're going to cover here in detail so I can show you how to optimize your profile. So up at the top, obviously, you have the name. And then right beneath this, in this shaded area, this is what's called the header area of the profile. And then right beneath that is where you put in your current position or positions if you have multiple companies or multiple jobs. You can put in your past experience. Your recommendations show up right beneath that. And then um, the summary is right beneath that. And by the way, LinkedIn allows you to move some of these things around up and down your profile if you want them to be more prominent towards the top. So you can just drag and drop some of these if you want them to be closer to your, your photo and your header. And then uh, right beneath that would be all of your experience, both current and past experience. And then as we go further down, there's some additional areas that you can add to your profile. If you have any certifications, there's a way to add all of your certifications to your profile. There's another um, feature where you can add skills publications, and then here would be your interests, and then any groups or associations that you currently belong to or that you've currently formed on your own within LinkedIn, and then any honors and awards, contact settings and information. So that's what the public sees when they land here on my profile. Yes. Is it obvious when you go on to LinkedIn initially to set up an account? I mean, it's really instructional on what the protocol and... Yes, it, it's very straightforward. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy to navigate. And the do's and don'ts on how to ask for an invitation or to invite and all Well, that. that takes a little more homework on your part. I mean, there are, there are some guidelines that LinkedIn will give you, and they're fairly prominent about appropriate invitation and connections. We'll get into the, what that's like in a minute. So up at the top here, you can search for people on LinkedIn in this search area. And you can also search for jobs, companies, answers, your email, any groups. So if you type in the word real estate under people and you hit search, <coughs> Let's see what comes up. Well, what happens when that, when I just did that, what I discovered right here is that there, I used the keywords real estate, and there's 1,253,380 no, profiles on LinkedIn, people that are in real estate. If you set up your profile appropriately, you'll probably land pretty close to where I did. I'm number five out of a million two hundred and something. Yeah. Number one is Windermere Real Estate. So what I'm trying to get at here is that I learned this, how to do this, and it took me about 10 minutes to go back into my profile and add some keywords in those four or five different areas we just reviewed, your summary, your interests, your experience. And I went from who knows how deep down I was on the list all the way up to the top 10, just like that. And so we're going to cover with you today, how you can do that with your profile for your chosen profession. The other thing that I discovered a couple of weeks ago is to rethink how you position all the information on your profile so that people can find you locally. Because when you think about it, if somebody's looking for real estate in specific, they're usually searching locally. And I'm going to use real estate a lot because that's what I do most of the time. So it's great that somebody can find me on LinkedIn under the, under the basic keyword real estate, and I come up in the top five out of a million two hundred plus people. But does that solve the problem for somebody looking for a realtor in Lafayette or in Pleasant Hill? So if they add the search term, so when you guys go on Google, do you search locally for things? Of course you do. So that's, people are no different on LinkedIn. 
Let's see if this works. Okay, so what happened here is instead of a million two hundred and some odd people on LinkedIn that have profiles, there's 294 people on LinkedIn that have figured out that if they put keywords, Pleasant Hill, into all these key areas into their profile, that they'll, they'll end up, hey, who's this guy in the back? Who's the guy in the between That's what I Oh, I don't know. I told him a few things you don't know, and you weren't listening when I told you, so... So it dawned on me, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Why don't you go in there and adjust your profile so that if you have a business that's local based, put in local <coughs> geographic keywords so that people can find you on LinkedIn locally. Not only that, but did you know that Google actually indexes your profile and puts it up on a Google search as well? So all these keywords that you're integrating into your profile help position you with keyword searches that people are using on Google to search locally and globally, for that matter. Yes? So, Pete, I, I can't see that. What did you yeah. exactly type in? Did you put in real estate, like plus? plus All I did is I just, after real estate, I put in the word Pleasant Hill. Are you putting a comma in there or a plus No, sign? just the word. Okay. Hit, the, hit the search and up it, did, oh, up it went. So. When I learned this trick a couple of weeks ago, and that's why I'm not a guru, I don't know it all. I'm learning, this stuff changes all the time and I'm learning as I go. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but the point is, I went into my profile and not only added Pleasant Hill, but I thought, all right, where do I sell real estate? Everywhere in Contra Costa County. So I went city by city by city and I replicated my experience 16 different times for each of the cities where I do business. So now if I type in real estate Orinda, real estate Alamo, real estate Danville, real estate Concord, I will be at the top or at least, this is what we call the fold in internet marketing. This is the bottom of your computer screen. This is prime real estate right here. You don't have to be number one, you just wanna to try to be above the fold as often as possible. Do you like to scroll down a screen? I don't. Do people scroll if they don't have to? They won't. So try to get whatever you're doing to be positioned above the fold.